Um, the first tool that I'll show you is something called human learn, which is a bit of a pun on scikit learn. And as it, that's a tool that tries to zoom in on this part of the pipeline. Like it tries to rethink the way that we model. Um, and here's how it works. The idea is that it's a component that is very much uh, scikit-learn compatible, but it has a slightly different vantage point. If you think about how machine learning works, like very, very broadly, um, then lately what we like to do is we like to take our labels as well as our data, and we give that to a machine learning model, which then tries to find all sorts of patterns that might fit the relationship between the labels and data. And, you know, uh, you just get some rules out, basically. You just get a sequence of patterns that get detected, and we can make some predictions. And this is very much different from how we used to do this. Back in the, I won't say good old days, but at least back in the old days, um, instead of resorting to machine learning, which is compute intensive, people would say, well, let's just spend a lot of time doing exploratory data analysis and maybe come up with some simple rules, which can then also make predictions for labels to us. And if you think about a few use cases like fraud analysis, let's say, I like to think that, yeah, you don't always need data in order to make a sensible prediction. And I thought this was just kind of interesting because maybe as a, uh, in a scikit-learn ecosystem, we are overfitting on this and we are not doing enough of this. And then I started wondering, maybe there are these components that I can make that also make it easier to sort of exchange ideas between these two systems. And that's what's, what human learn effectively is. It's just a bunch of scikit learn components uh, that you can just click in your pipeline uh, that try to facilitate uh, these kinds of models a bit more. Now, there, there's a ton of models in that package. I won't go over all of them, but I suppose the most powerful thing in there is this idea uh, that you are usually doing maybe some exploratory data analysis when you're making predictions in the beginning, right? Like you have a data set, you kind of want to figure out what's in it. So that maybe use parallel coordinates to sort of figure out what's in there, some interactive visualization techniques. And the first, and I guess the main feature of this package is that by doing this exploratory work, you might be able to come up with a Python function that can just describe what your model should do. And then human learn offers this thing called a function classifier that can take any Python function and turn that into a scikit-learn uh, component basically one that's compatible for grid search, which means that all these keyword arguments that you find in here are also something you can grid search over. And you might kind of go, okay, Vincent, but is that really, really powerful? Like, when would you actually use this? Is this something that's really state-of-the-art? And the answer to that is not always, but let's do a quick demo where I'm going to convince you that this technique is actually more powerful than you might think.